Not a bad effort. G'day, I'm Sean, and welcome to Blade Mate Lawn Care. You know the drill by now, ladies and gents, but for any newcomers, I work closely with a local team of caseworkers of some struggling people who refer me jobs like this. I film the work, stick the video on social media, and with the revenue from that, along with support from Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee, I don't need to charge a fee for my work. I think this is a great system, as the referring team's organisation have very limited funding for yard maintenance, and the client simply cannot afford to pay someone to do the work. I had a chat to one of the elderly neighbours, and she was glad that I was here, as there had been a number of rodents making their way into her yard from this property. Rodents usually equal snakes. But luckily for me, the snakes have started to go to bed for the cooler months, and I didn't encounter any. Anyway, please enjoy the video, and have a great day. Look, this job, it's definitely going to be a challenge. Probably one of the biggest challenges I've faced yet. Just goes to show how difficult it can be just to properly dispose of household items. It's something that people take for granted, you know? You, just being able to get rid of stuff that you no longer need. So for a lot of people, they can't afford it or they don't have a trailer or a car. It just ends up in the backyard, just out of their, their, their living space. And so hopefully that answers a question as to why there's you know a lot of debris and rubbish out here. Hello, you. So what the plan is from here, I think I'm just gonna do what I've done in the past, which is start at the front and work my way back. The front for me is that gate just there where we just walk through. And we'll just come this way, removing rubbish first, and then we'll go back and start working on the vegetation. I'm probably gonna need a higher a brush hog for this one. There you go, get me a tetanus shot, don't I? I don't know if you can see, but that is my hair on the end of that nail. And I just kind of tried to wash my head before. That's the blood coming out. I was just picking up, trying to move this out. And it just, I don't know, kind of flicked up and went bang, right into my head pretty hard. So, yeah, don't really feel like taking a risk and getting sick. So I'm gonna go and get a jab and I'll get back to work. So we've got these new replacement components. Because what happens is all the dirt and stuff starts going in here, through there, it gets underneath all the bits and pieces in there. You get a little bit to build up inside the, the spool here. And if you can kind of see, probably not though, debris gets in there, it causes just junk to get between the line and the spool and also just a continuous movement of the spool. A little bit of friction sometimes heats up from the plastic line itself and it kind of fuses. And after a while, it just becomes a little bit ineffective and you keep getting, to use a military term when you're handling a weapon, stoppages. And so you need to rectify the stoppage just like you would with a weapon. And in this case, it is to replace the components. So I've got a brand new spool here. It's not worn out in there. Got the brand new cap. 
got a new spring which you could still use this one doesn't really matter but we'll replace it anyway because we have it these components this is actually here these are the parts that the line sits into and as you can see it starts to wear out these ones they're not quite due for a replacement yet but i'm going to replace them anyway Special thanks to another Australian family-run business, Green Acres Mowers, for supporting my work by providing the replacement parts and trimmer cord which you just saw on screen. Now I really do appreciate the support from Green Acres, as they reached out to me because they appreciated my work and wanted to help in some way. So go show them some love and shop at their online store. This is where we're up to today. Really the goal here is to make this more functional yard not pretty the place up so I'm just going to clear a path the rest of the path to the clothesline just trim the tops off these clear the vegetation along that retaining wall and do a few more passes on this lawn and pick up all the clippings and that's job done from there let's go
Now, no doubt, a lot of people, including myself, are looking at this and thinking, that looked a lot better before you just cut off all of that greenery. The problem with leaving it there, it's a retaining wall holding up that house behind it. Where do grass roots, vines, all that sort of stuff go? The answer to that question is everywhere. There'll come a time, it'll start growing into these little drain outlets here. There's one there, there's one there, there's one over there. It'll get in between the cracks. Long story short, all vegetation here will eventually cause this retaining wall to lose its structural integrity. At least that's what I think.
So that's full of grass. And then we got this here. Not a bad effort. I reckon if I kept going, cutting shorter and shorter, I could fill that again, probably the same amount.
Also, before we finish up today, special thanks to my friend Phil over at Phil's Lawn Care for this shout out. And then there's that guy in Australia that's, that's really good. Uh, Is it Blade Mate? Blade Mate Lawn Care, yep, yeah. Sean, yeah, Sean Blade Mate, yeah.